Hi, this is Deanna, and I am here today to give a quick video tutorial on watching the Center for Christian Studies videos that we're using for our current study on the history of the church, the church's story. And to do that, I'm going to share my screen and walk you through how to log in so that you can watch those videos if you miss class or if you're um, just interested in watching them again. Uh, maybe they went by really quickly when we watched them together and you'd like to see them again, or maybe you'd like to watch some of the other resources from the Center for Christian Studies. So let me share my screen and I'll walk you how to do, through how to do that. All right. I am at the Christian Studies um, org website here and you can see uh, while I was introducing this segment to you. I had a pop-up box and this is a great thing to fill out because the Christian Studies organization is an excellent organization. It's run by two professors that were some of my professors when I completed my master's in seminary and um, my master's of theological studies and they are great teachers, uh, very uh, thoughtful um, academics and uh, practicing Christians, really neat people. I think uh, you will get great content out of here. So you're welcome to, of course, sign up to receive CCS content. I'm already signed up, so I'm going to close this out. And you can see here I'm at the home page and the website is christian-studies.org. And so Here's, here's from home, and to see the videos, I'm going to go to Video Courses. Here we are. And I'm going to click here for Available Courses. And you can see they have uh, several courses, and they're adding more all the time. But the one that we are doing is the Church's Story. This is a survey of church history. So I'm going to click here to view the course. Now, as you can see, it asks me to subscribe and if I try to watch these it asks for a fee because this is licensed material. However, for the purpose of our class, our um, church has already purchased a license for this material that if you are a participant in our class, Tuesday morning, Wednesday night, doesn't matter, if you are a participant in our class, you have the ability to use that login information to watch the videos. But to do that, we have to log in. So here we go. You see up here, there's a little brown uh, person profile um, and a little login button. Now, if you're on a phone, you're going to need to um, find a menu and open it. And the menu will look like these three lines. It will look like, you know, three lines, like here's some lines of text. So you click that and open it, and then one of your choices will be to log in. This is something that has confused people. Even though you click to log in, what is taking you to is an option to sign up for a new account. Um, so see, you see here, this is sign up with email. Well, you can make a new account, but that won't give you access to our license that we've already purchased to watch the video. So instead, you need to use this already a member. Yes, you are a member through our group um, account. And so you want to log in. And you see right here, it's login with email. That's what we want to do. And passwords are ones that I have shared with the members of our class. And you need to be a member of the class to have those. So if you would like to be a member of the class, just contact me and I will get you all set up with our login and password. Okay, so I paused the recording and I logged in with the email address and password that is for our account. Now I'm logged in. You can see that I still have the little person here, but if I click the expansion button, it gives me the option to log out. Well, that's because I'm already logged in. So I know I'm logged in and we see right here that I can play the video. 
This is the first video, of course, because it starts at video one. And if you are ready to see the second video, this is a little menu. This is the second video. This is the third. You notice that there's not the the rest of the title is module two, meaning it's the second video, but you can't see that on this little one. So you kind of have to, you know, uh, click and then see. Okay, look, now that I've selected it, I can see the church's story module two. Now this, the way this little video selection works is a little different on a laptop or desktop versus a phone or a tablet iPad. And so you may have to play around a little bit. Some of them, sometimes on a phone, you're actually swiping across to get to the next video. So you're swiping that main video window to select it. One little gotcha is if you are not logged in and you go down to course samples, it may look like you can play those videos, but they're actually just three minute samples of the video to allow someone who has not purchased a license to decide if they want to purchase a license. So that's something, you know, you don't want to use those course samples because you only have three minutes of the video. That's not the whole video. Um, and then the last thing I'll show you is that there are some links to the course study material. So there's a course study guide that gives a uh, little um, notes from every for every video. There are uh, resources within here that you can click in here and see. So, for example, Arianism is a heresy um, from the oh, I guess, second through fourth centuries and following. Um, so we see fourth century outbreak of the Arian controversy. So this has brought up a document for you to read. And from this, you can read it straight on your screen. You can print it. Um, and everything that we're most suggesting that our participants read, if you attend in person, on Tuesdays, I will be bringing you printouts. You will not have to print out unless you want extra stuff. But a lot of our participants are remote and they're coming from different places or they're coming, uh, attending the Wednesday night Zoom. And so this is where you're able to print these items. So let's open a new window. I'm going to close that new window. Here's our all of those course study material. Okay, uh, this has been how to use the video site and watch the videos and please feel free to reach out if you have any questions thanks so much um, go ahead and subscribe to that channel if you're not already subscribed so that you hear more about our bible study content and what we're doing or go to deannamunger.com and subscribe there and you can have a free mini book on the name of God, and you can hear all about our great Bible study content. Thanks.